Hey guys, Sonny Carter here. What's up? What's going on? And in this video, I'm going to share with you what happens when someone feels like that in love feeling is not there anymore in their marriage or relationship. You know, we see so many times in Hollywood and in the media, we see these relationships that hook up and get together and people get married and then all of a sudden they don't feel that in love feeling anymore. Um, and so they feel like, you know, are we meant for each other? Maybe this is not the right thing. And, and it's, it's completely emotion-based, and what happens is they call it off. They separate or they call it a divorce. And so I want, to talk, I want to answer that question today because I think that feeling that in love feeling can be very misleading at times. Um, I think it's easy, especially in the beginning of our relationship when we're like super infatuated to have that in love feeling, right? Because we got all these dopamine drugs going on in our head, all this love drugs that's causing us to feel ooey and gooey inside and causing us to, to um, write love notes effortlessly without even thinking. Um, and, and love, acts of love flow, with, flow through us automatically during that stage. And so in the beginning of that stage, we're in such this infatuation stage where we have this feeling of in love. Okay, But what most people don't know is that the infatuation stage statistically fades away after about a year or two, max three, okay? And that's based on tons and tons of research. You can go look it up. So that infatuation stage never stays. It never stays uh, when you get married. And so you hit with a crossroad, right? So what happens after that, that infatuation, in love, gooey feeling goes away? Does that mean that you guys are not meant for each other? Or does that mean that you guys are not right for each other anymore? Or, or is it an indication of something else, right? And it totally doesn't mean that. And so when this infatuation stage kind of phases off in your relationship, there's really just two directions you can go in, right? One is you can go into a stage where you guys don't put any effort in the relationship or in the marriage and kind of put it on all the parties and you just let it kind of cruise. And what happens is when you do that, it goes down the road of feeling more like roommates rather than lovers, right? You feel more like people who care about each other. There's no deep love connection. There's no spark. Um, there's no int no really strong intimacy there because there was no effort, right? It's kind of like a fire log, right? When you when you put on a fire, that, that, that fire that blazes really high, that's the infatuation stage. But if you stop putting logs into the fire, what happens? The fire eventually dims down and it, it becomes very low. And so that's the same thing in the relationships. We had that fire in the beginning. The fire is like scorching. It's hot. We, we want fire for each other. Then after that fire dies out for about the first year or two when we get married, then what happens is if we stop putting logs in the fireplace, that fire goes down and then down again and then down again. And then eventually it goes all the way down to the point where the marriage completely disintegrates and you guys are on the brink of divorce. Okay. Or the other road is after the infatuation stage is over, then you can put logs into the fireplace, right? You do the little things in your marriage that keeps that love connection going. It's not like the infatuation stage where the fire is just flaming, you guys are burning in passion, right? That can still, you guys can still have passion in your relationship, but it's not that, that crazy dopamine love drugs that's going on in your body that makes you do irrational things when you're first um, going out with each other you're, you're, or in that infatuation stage, okay? So after the infatuation stage, if you put logs on the fire in the fireplace, you're going to have a warm, growing ambiance of warmth in your relationship, a steady fire that keeps going because you keep putting the logs into the fireplace. And so that relationship is going to have a steady fire. It's going to have that warmth. It's going to have that, that, that warm ambiance. It's going to have that ambiance of peace, of love, of deep caring and connection and intimacy. Okay, that's the stage you want to be in. That's called that love connection stage. All right, that love connection stage. And the logs that you put in, into the fire is the little things that you're doing in your marriage that makes a big difference. You know, so many married couples wait until things go really bad and then they want to go crazy to get help, right? But if you just do the little things every day, they add up to the big things in your relationship. And it could be as little as sending, your, sending love texts to each other throughout the day, right? Um, letting your spouse know that you look forward to spending time with them, quality time with them when you get home. Um, helping out with the chores around the house, right? Being a considerate listener and, and, and listening um, emotionally and with empathy, not interrupting or, or being argumentative, right? And, and being there, uh, uh, being a good listener to your spouse. Just the tiny little things that make a big difference, right? Um, increasing the romanticism, fellas. You know what I'm talking about here, all right? Step up that romantic game for your, 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 your spouse, right? 
um, doing little things, romantic things, right? Buying your wife uh, gifts or flowers unexpectedly, you know, uh, maybe for the wife, you know, surprising your husband with, with sports tickets or things that he likes or, or taking a small interest in the things, the hobbies that he's into, right? Just knowing more about them so you can have deep conversation about them um, or meaningful conversation about them. So just the little things you do that can add up to big things in your relationship. Um, and so my encouragement to you is that if you, if you don't have that in love feeling anymore and you think that something's wrong with your relationship, if you're feeling like, um, like roommates rather than lovers and you don't have that deep connection with each other, then I want to encourage you to start doing the little things in your marriage that makes a big difference, okay? And you will see, like, all, the, all the, the issues that happen in your marriage will start to fade away because you're focusing not on the problems. You're focusing on what can I do to make my marriage better today? What are the little steps that I can take to take my marriage to the next level today? And if you focus on that, you start focusing on yourself, on changing yourself, not changing your spouse, okay? So... That, given that, um, if that in feeling, that in love feeling faded away, it doesn't mean you're not meant for each other. It just means that you got to get back on track and start doing the small things that make a big difference in your relationship. All right. So thanks for watching this, guys. I appreciate it so much. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up, smash that heart button, and shoot me a comment below. Let me know some of the small things that you've done in your relationship that made a tremendous difference so we can all learn here in the group. All right, so appreciate you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Sunny Carla, signing out for now. Much love.